Hi, Gary from Mr G Shave. Uh, today is the long-awaited tag shave. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you what uh, what I've got planned. Um, so um, I was actually tagged, I think two weeks ago now, but because I had all my birthday shaves to get through, I couldn't do the tag shave until today. So um, I'll go through the software first. Software-wise, I'm using the Arch Brito Glyce soap I don't I think you can probably just about make that out still um, I'm trying another Twa Birds soap this one is the Birds of Paradise so Birds of Paradise so this has apparently got citrus tropical um, musk and sandalwood in it so <clears throat> nice it, it, it it smells very pleasant to my nose, um, very nice. And then obviously because there's citrus in it, I'm gonna go down the citrus route again. And I'm, if I'm honest, I'm trying to use this up a bit now because I've got two new bottles. Um, so that's the Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel and the All Seasons Aftershave Splash. And then something else that's new to the channel but I've had it for a few weeks but I, I put it in a, away in a corner and I haven't really used it. I got this from the uh, Personal Barber Club and it's natural mandarin basil and lime essential day cream so I'm going to use that as a post shave balm um, and hopefully that works. I mean it hasn't caused me a problem I have used it a couple of times off camera so but I've not used it immediately after a shave, so we'll see. Right, um, I'm delaying getting to the, to the brush. So th this is the bowl I'm gonna use. I've actually put the Twa Bird soap in there. It's gonna be interesting to see how that lathers up. Um, decided to use this because of the brush, really. And you could put paint in this and paint things with it. And to put a, a different slant on things, <laughs> as the title says, I'm using my Merca 37C slant. I think it's called a sledgehammer. Um, so that's it there, the slant razor, and it's got the Wilkinson sword in it, again, on its third and final use. Um, so as you can see, and it's got the HD handle, so the short handle. Um, and then this is the brush. I'll need to stand back. <laughs> it's, I'll just see. So this is the brush. I'll bring it closer so you can read it. Angled Pro Cutter. So now you can, well, now I open this, let's see. Uh, there we go. There we go. So as you can see, it's an angled brush that goes with the angle of the razor. <laughs> I just thought that's perfect. Um, I, did, uh, I did think about this for a while. So this brush is one and a half inches or 38 millimeters. Um, it's got quite a lot of backbone to it. It's going to be fun trying to shave with this. It doesn't feel too bad on the face. We'll see. So that's that. That's what I went for. Is is a, a different slant on things. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get ready for the shave, and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. I've got the uh, pre-shave on. Dip my fingers in the water and rub it in. Yeah, so I did buy this brush especially for this tag video. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how it performs. So there it is. Squeeze it out a bit. And here we go. Turn it round so you oh, it's got a 
a lot of water in it at the moment. Let's just, right, that should work. So it's not doing too badly. Why on, why on earth am I doing this? So yeah, I need to correct an error from the last video where I stated that Sig Solo was the one that uh, tagged me. It wasn't. It was CB Shaves. Um, so thanks, Chris. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, he did check with me first, to be honest. Oh, that's too much water. Right, let's try and get that going. God, it's splashing it everywhere. Right, I think we're almost there. So yeah, I've the unfortunate side effect of me having to wait to do my <clears throat> tag video is that all the people that I wanted to originally tag have now been tagged by others. So the likes of Johan and Matty Lindholm and various others. So I've decided to tag some, some members that aren't as active, or some members, some YouTubers, or certainly one YouTuber that isn't as active as he used to be, but he, ha he has loaded a video, I think about a week ago. Um, and that's MC Shaves, Mark from MC Shaves, you're tagged to do this video. And then I've got two uh, channels that are fairly new to me, but I think they're all, they're gaining a reputation fairly quickly. Um, I only recently subscribed, say, when I say recent, probably in the last month or two. And that's Rui from the Lath from the Lath Lathering with Rui channel. I'll get the words out eventually. So that's Rui from the Lathering with Rui channel, and Brian from the Wet Shave Experience. So Brian from the Wet Shave Experience. So those are the three people I'm tagging in this video. And if they've already been tagged, that's tough. <laughs> now, if you don't want to do it, guys, don't worry about it. Um, it's a bit of fun. You've just got to pick a, 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 or either buy a paintbrush or use one of your paintbrushes. But I suggest if you've had white spirits on it or anything like that, I wouldn't use that one. Uh, but yeah, you've got to shave with a paintbrush for a bit of fun. This actually is producing, producing quite a decent lather. Um, I'm just putting some more water in. And I think I'm about there. I'm not really going to be able to splay this, I don't think, because I can't splay it in the bowl. Right, I'm going to go for it. So let's get some water on the subject. Hang on, pressurize it. Oh, nice cold. So here it goes. Now, do I hold the handle out there? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna, weird. Where's the angle? There it is. Well, I don't know how I've just got soap in my eye, but I have. Probably just flipped in from the brush. So apparently this, this brush is for detailing. I don't do a lot of DIY. <laughs> so. But yeah, interesting. So I, I just, I bought, I bought the brush because it said Pro Cutter on it. So, because it says that on it, that's why I bought the brush. And then I saw the, you know, I saw that it was an angled brush. I haven't used it. First time that it's actually come out of the, or come out in anger. I did have a look at the brush to see what the pro cutter meant. And when I saw the angle on the brush, I had to use the slant DE razor, which is why I've had to wait until today. 
I could have used this with a straight razor shave on Wednesday, but I wanted to use it with a slant razor. So, it's a bit of fun. And this is actually working quite well. Um, I actually think it could probably do with more water. But here goes. So, Merca 37C with a Wilkinson sword, Gillette Wilkinson sword on its third use. Let's go for it. I haven't used this razor in such a long time and it's a great razor. It's one of those razors that's just a stalwart of the <clears throat> wet shaving community. It's, it's well known. I think I'm right in saying this is the sledgehammer. Um, and so it's quite well known. The Merca 37C. And it just cuts so well. It doesn't feel that aggressive. I mean, yes, when I first started out, this would have felt quite aggressive to me, but not anymore because I, I kind of use the Game Changer and other sort of more aggressive razors. Um, nowadays, I've got used to it. But this is working well. The brush has performed very well. It won't be an, a permanent addition to the den. It's got too much backbone, if I'm honest. This is, oh, it's so nice. Really comfortable. Yeah, when I first started out, this would have felt very aggressive to me. But now, it, it actually feels medium to mild. <clears throat> um, so yeah, let's put some water in there, water on the face. The scent of this is stunning. Really, another great scent from Twa Birds. Really, really good. Um, it may be, you know, it's it's not it's not got all the fancy ingredients in it and stuff like that, but it's I think it's a melt and pour or whatever they call it, and then she adds the scents. But that's great. I mean, the the scent profile is brilliant. <laughs> this is this is weird. It's not as it's not actually as weird as you think, but it, it manoeuvres quite well in the hand. Nice long handle. Um, quite a relaxing experience, if I'm honest. But I I I can't splay it. So bit of fun. I don't know whether you've watched Shaven Butcher's uh, tag video, but that's that's funny as hell. He uses a roller. So look up Shaven Butcher if you haven't watched his channel yet. He's he's a funny guy. Um, right, across on this side, straight up. Nice feedback. Slickness of this soap is superb. And it does a really good, it's, it's quite an efficient razor, but as I say, it's still very comfortable. Really nice. Really nice. Right, 
let's try and get some more of this on. Loads of soap or lather. <laughs> I don't know why we don't design shaving brushes like this. Not as big as this, but could have a slant flat head shaving brush just to paint it on. <laughs> it's really good though. I'm surprised. But I've been surprised by a lot of the videos because all the brushes have worked. And you know, I can recycle this. I can use it for when I paint something. Yeah, like that's gonna happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, right across is against the grain on this side. Really slick this. I'm trying to stretch my skin and uh, you know use my whole hand and that quite often will be sufficient. But not with this soap. So wherever Twa Birds gets their soap base from, it's really good soap base. <clears throat> Loads of feedback. Right, third pass done. Almost there. Yeah, definitely got the usual spots. Very little here, it's literally just there, two little spots there. So as I say with my straight razors, I, I'm left with fairly big patches that I just can't seem to get to. So pick up pass, here we go. Really good. I like this brush. I really do. <laughs> I'm, I'm really surprised. I thought it'd be really uncomfortable, but it's fine. Yep, that's got it. A little bit there. That side's done. And that side's done. Oh, again, another little bit there. That's it, done. So, 
I'm going to do my usual thing. I'm going to clean up and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. That was an excellent shave. <laughs> Thoroughly enjoyed that. I hope you did too. Um, I did think about that one for quite a while. <clears throat> because as soon as I saw Sig do the first one, although I don't think he was the first, if somebody else did the first, I didn't, didn't check before the video to see who it was. But I think originally it wasn't done as a tag video. Um, but Sig turned it into a tag video. So there we are. Um, but yeah, I've been, I, I knew I'd get tagged, so I immediately started searching for a brush, which is probably about a month ago now. So, um, and then when I got that brush and thought, oh, I've got to use that with the slant, with the sledgehammer, it just, now you know why I had to wait so long. Right, so let's get on with the post shave. Uh, I'm going to use some cold water on the face actually and I'm going to use the alum. I've got to start remembering. Oh, that's nice. So here we go. Oh, a bit of sting underneath the neck there. Good five, six, ooh, right there is about a seven. So it is, it feels a lot smoother. I think it's probably got a lot to do with that blade as well, you know. That Wilkinson sword, Gillette Wilkinson sword blade from India, the saloon pack. It's an excellent blade. Really, really good. I love it. Um, because it's just so smooth. Um, I don't know, if it's supposed to be a, a, an ultra sharp blade or a medium, I, I haven't got a clue. Um, as long as it, uh, as long as it performs for me, that's all I care about, and it, and it definitely performs. I mean, it, that shave almost felt as smooth as a Merca 34C, so I think that's got to be the blade that's done that. So let's wipe this off. It's still singing a bit, but it's fine. So nice. And then on with the witch hazel. Goes very well with that scent profile. Probably a bit too lemony, but it is, it goes really well. I think the um, Birds of Paradise soap is more orange than lemon <clears throat> um, and I think there's a bit of coconut in there but I'm not sure I got the musk got the musk but not sure I got the sandalwood and I know sandalwood so right let's go with the all seasons lemon aftershave splash oh that's burning <laughs> Kevin McAllister again from home alone oh dear me very nice rub it on the arms and then let's try this this is the as I say this is the first time I've used it directly after a shave as you can see I have used a little bit um, rub it in the hands Now there's, you can smell that there is definitely citrus in this, but there's almost like a patchouli in there. There's definitely a hint of that. Let's just see what it says on there. Doesn't really say, it just says basil and lime. Yes, I can get the basil, thinking about it. That's probably what I'm smelling. Um, it's got a picture of orange and limes and basil on the side, so there's no scent notes to this. So that's it for today. Um, 
I hope you enjoyed my tag shave. Um, and I'll read out those people that I've tagged again, just in case. So I'm tagging Mark from MC Shaving, Rui from the Lathering with Rui channel, Brian from the Wet Shave Experience channel. So they're the three people that I'm tagging. So that's it from me today. I'll see you next Wednesday for a, another straight, you know, another straight shave. So bye bye for now. It's bye bye from the Sledgehammer or 37C. Come on, focus. Why is that not focusing? Let's just tap it. There we go. So it's bye bye from the 37C. Beautiful razor. Highly recommend it to anybody. So really nice. Um, and it's bye bye from me. I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye now.